come again. So in previous tutorial, we have created a quick act PHP pagination, and in this in this tutorial, we will apply a Bootstrap 4 design in our pagination. So for that, I'm going in Bootstrap 4 uh, documentation site, and there has a page, lots of pagination design. I'm just going to copy this line and paste it in here. I've just passed it before my pagination um, section. So I'm just save and go and reload our page. So we're seeing a bootstrap pagination in here, and this is our own bootstrap uh, cat PHP pagination. So we have to convert this in this design. So I'm just going to open my inspector element. If you go and see the to change see the changes. So if you click in here, you can see this bootstrap design has a class called page item in list and a class called page link in anchor, anchor tag. Same thing in CAC PHP, they have a class in list and a anchor tag, but they, they have no any class, a list class active uh, is showing in here, but uh, they have no any class for two, page two, they have no any list class in list they have no any class in anchor tag so we have to give the class name in here so how can we how we can do this so just think if we have uh, 10 or 12 pagination in our project then every time we have to apply manual uh, design or manual class in here so it will be big line uh, and it's not a good practice so what we will do, we will use a CAC PHP paginator helper templates. And it is very easy to apply to change the paginator helper design. So CAC PHP already uh, described it in their documentation. If you go in paginator helper documentation, and they told the paginator helper templates. And you can see how to how to do this they have also a given a tutorial i'm just going to copy this line and this they have told this line we have to uh, apply it in app view.php so the app view.php is in our source folder and in this source folder there is a folder called view and in this view there is a file called app.view so in this file there is a method called initialize and here we have to give this line called load helper paginator templates and name of our paginator templates name you can give any name i'm just keep it uh, default that that page be given the same name i'm just giving here so this name after save this page if you just go and reload your browser in this time you will get an error now so it's it's telling that we need to add a file in config folder and the file name will be paginator templates.php so let's do this i'm just going in my config folder and just uh, creating a file called paginator uh, call paginator okay just sorry just copy this line going in my config folder and creating the file called paginator templates.php and just hit on enter you will see something like that and if you go and reload out your page again you will see that uh, another error that's calling us that uh, did not return an array that means we have to return an array to apply this design so let's go in documentation again so going down you can see that uh, they have given an example like this so I'm just going to copy this and giving PHP tag and paste it in here. So now if you go and reload your source, now we should see same thing that we have uh, uh, seen in previous. So so now if you go in your inspector element and see the option, uh, see the link, you will see the same thing. Only anchor tag you are seeing in here, but now if we just add a class in here for example there in anchor tag we need to add a class called pa page link i'm just copy this line 
and paste it in here. So now after save, if you go and reload, you should see in here this design has been changed. So if you go, you can see the anchor tag, only anchor tag and anchor tag has a page link and a page link class now. So there is no any list. Uh, it is just a link uh, because uh, we applied for this design only for numbers. So that's that's for that's why we are seeing only anchor tag in here. So I'm just adding a link in here. I'm just going to add a link and link has a class. We will add the bootstrap class. So just going to copy this line and paste it in here. And finishing my list in here. Okay. So if you save it, you will see the number will be look like this, same thing, but it's active. One is active, so we are not seeing any design for active. So I'm going here and CACPHP has mentioned all their uh, templates that uh, what we need to do for change our design. So you can see that there is a call, call there is a option called uh, numbers, fast, last, and uh, preview active, next active. So you have to just copy this and go in here, copy this same line and paste it in here. Uh, I'm just going to copy this line several times, like six times, and go in here. Just copy this next active, go to changing this index, and also next disable. Going to change this like next disable and preview active, and also giving me preview disable like this and also uh, current current is actually called active base so i'm just giving you the current so if you save and pass your design will not work the reason there is a space that i have given we have to give it without a space i'm just removing everything so if you save now go and reload it should work now so you're seeing that it's working fine so for active base, we need to give active plus for anchor tag. So I'm adding a active plus in here. Current. I'm just giving a class collective. Now go reload my page. You can see now a blue uh, blue background for your active base. So I'm just removing my bootstrap now. Bootstrap section. I'm just removing. So now it has been applied in in my in our CAC PHP is a natural helper. So if you just go and again click on two, you can see it will be changed to two. And if you click in here, it will be changed in one. So you already designed our uh, CAC PHP page in Nitro into Bootstrap 4. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Welcome for the next.